Hi yo, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you haven't been here before. I'm Chandel and I'm at Disney World again. I've actually been um, a couple of times since the last video that I posted, but this one is a different trip. I'm doing a lot more things that I haven't done before and I'm actually staying just for one night at a um, room that I've never stayed at before. We are at Disney's Copper Creek Villas. Um, that is at Wilderness Lodge, in case you didn't know. And I just want to do a quick room tour before I get into everything else. Let's go. Okay, so I'm starting here from the door, obviously. We have room 6111, 6111, whatever we want to call it. And then from the door here, we start off with this giant mirror, which is also the door to the bathroom, as you can see. Over on this side, there's a closet, kind of a small closet, but it's got everything you need in here. Extra pillow and blanket, there's an ironing board, the iron, a little safe, there's still space to put some stuff. This is a deluxe studio with a walk-in shower. That closet doesn't really have much room for all of your luggage, but here in the kitchenette area, Kind of the same basic thing that most of the kitchenette areas have in the studios. There's your microwave, you've got your coffee maker, selection of coffees. Obviously there's a sink that give you sponge, towels, everything you need to do that. Um, this here I like, it's like a little storage pantry. You can put all your food there if you want or whatever you want to put there. I like that. Plenty of space here. They do have the plasticware and not actual silverware like some of the villas do. Trash can there. Underneath, extra paper towels. The fire extinguisher is not there, that's not good. And of course there's the little fridge. We haven't put anything in here. We're only staying one night, so we may not put anything there. To the main part of the room. I'll come back to the bathroom in a second. As you walk in here to your left, you've got the little seating area for two people. That's nice to have. I like the way they've set this up. I like the lighting. You've got your bed and a nightstand here on the side, three drawers, outlets. This lamp actually goes on and off here. This switch here actually controls the lights above the bed. And there's one of those on each side. I think this is a queen size bed. I do like that headboard. On the other side is another little um, side table. This one obviously has the phone. I haven't been in a room yet that has this uh, Hey Disney thing. I don't know if we'll use that, but we'll check it out later. The sofa here turns into a queen bed as well. You've got the table here that actually opens up. Wait, I think it opens up. Yeah, that's also fun. You can eat, eat there, work there, whatever you have to do. I don't know why you'd work on your vacation, but you never know. I'm going to have to do that, so maybe. I like this cabinet. Not a cabinet. What is this called? Dresser. I like this dresser. Maybe I just like it because of all of the different handles it has there. I don't know. I just like the feel of this room. And then, of course... Our favorite part, me and my friend Marcy are staying here together and it has both of our names on the welcome home screen so that's super fun, I love that a lot. And I guess we'll look at the bathroom before we go look at the balcony. Okay, so with the sliding door, there is a separate vanity area, one sink only. Still very nice. I like the way it's set up. I like the lights, the lighting. Um, I like the sink. You've got H2O products still. This is October 2023. They still got the H2O products here. There is some storage space underneath. Drawers. There's the hair dryer, 
trash can and then there is a separate door thing okay so there's a separate door here that closes for the bathroom or for where the toilet is rather and then this particular studio has the walk-in shower they do have rooms um, studio rooms rather that have the tub shower combination but this one that I booked just has the walk-in shower but I, I love that so that's great nice rainfall shower head and then you still have the handheld shower head I like this one a lot so on the wall still got the shampoo conditioner and the body wash a bar of soap there in case you want that instead I really like this picture that's on the wall just overall I really like this now let's go outside where Marcy's already hanging out we have a really cool view for this balcony say hello Marcy Hi. balcony has a standard table and chairs but this is our view from our room it is just I don't know I love it you can see the swimming pool you can see out to the lake this resort anyway is just breathtaking and I love how everything smells Wow. We got all checked into our room. Um, we didn't really get unpacked since we're only staying for one night, but we're both hungry. Came down to Geyser Point so that we get something to eat. And both of us have ordered the bison burger. Marcy has decided to get um, an appetizer. What is this that you got? Handcrafted crab cakes with aioli sauce. So she's had a taste of it. What do you think of it so far? A little spicy, very delicious. It looks really good. If you like spice, you would like this. Lots of different I think he said he likes the crab cakes too. Okay, our burgers arrived. We're about to taste them and see what we think. Hi y'all. This is a different trip for me. I'm doing a bunch of stuff I haven't done before. Today was travel day. Arriving to the resort that I was staying at for just the first night. I'm moving to a different resort tomorrow. I'm here with my friend Marcy. And to be completely honest, I completely did not vlog most of today. But just to give you a recap, it was travel day. Um, I flew in from Texas. Marcy flew in from Kentucky. And we ended up finally getting here to Copper Creek. Again, we're just staying here for one night. Um, we did have a hard time trying to find the room, but once we got to the room, um, I, I think I was just, I don't know if I'm overtired because I haven't slept very well the past few nights, but we ended up going, looking around the resort a little bit. We went and had um, something to eat at Geyser Point. We actually had a really great time. We had a really great view. They put us at a table that was kind of overlooking the lake and there was a breeze. It was just really nice. Afterwards, we ended up taking the boat from Wilderness Lodge over to Magic Kingdom and walked from Magic Kingdom to the Contemporary. We didn't go to Magic Kingdom. We'll end up going to Magic Kingdom tomorrow for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party.
We walked over to the Contemporary, looked around, did some shopping. Um, after that, we just ended up coming back. From there, we went and looked around both the lobby of Wilderness Lodge. I was telling Marcy about how cool the lobby is at Boulder Ridge, so we went over there and spent some time. And that was really fun and cozy. Um, we really enjoyed it. I liked just kind of chilling out.
after what I'm going to call a really long day. I feel like we've been here for several days now. We've done a lot of things just walking around, exploring, which I did not vlog, by the way, because um, I guess I'm just going to say because I was being lazy. But we've come here now. We walked over to Boulder Ridge just to look at the lobby. And it's just very cozy and homey feeling, and it smells great in here. Um, being in here at night just feels really good. And so we just took some time to sit and relax here. Um, we really enjoyed it. I liked just kind of chilling out. It felt really nice to just um, be able to relax a little bit. And I don't know. Everything was getting to me. I was emotional today. I'm really enjoying myself so far, but there's still part of me that's, um, I'm going to be honest, dealing with my depression and part of me doesn't want to be here because of my depression. The rest of me really wants to be here and I'm making sure I let myself have a good time. So it was a really long day. We did some fun stuff, but it's going to get better for day two as far as the vlogging is. We had a great day one, really. But as far as the vlogging, I'll make sure and show you guys what we're doing um, tomorrow and for the rest of the time. But it's late now. I mean, not that late, but for people who got up early to travel and haven't slept much, it's, it's late. So we're going to get ready to go to bed and then we'll start tomorrow with more fun stuff to do. And I will actually vlog better to show you what we're doing there. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. 